Okay, everybody, welcome back to Learn with Minecraft Education. Today, we're going to be looking at a brand new lesson that's just been added, and it's all based around a novel by the author Max Brooks, and it's called The Mountain. Now, if you stick around to the end of today's video, you will definitely understand how to implement this lesson with your class, from reading the first chapter to getting onto the computers, and your students are going to really enjoy exploring this world through the eyes of the main character of the book. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in uh, to finding this lesson, The Mountain. So we're going to go to View Library, Biomes and Worlds, Featured Worlds, and here it is on the left here, top left, Minecraft The Mountain by Max Brooks. Now if you click here, we can go to the lesson plan, which is actually pretty useful. Uh, we're just going to click Create World, and I have the lesson plan open in another tab here. Student Activities, read Chapter 1. Of the Mountain by Max Brooks. Little disclosure, I've ordered the book, it's not here yet. The students are greeted by an NPC and they need to move around the beach looking for stuff and crafting stuff. So let's uh, let's take a look at that. We've watched, uh, washed up on this beach here after a journey and um, it does describe in the book uh, the journey to get here. Where did you come from? Are you okay? You'll need to get off this beach and somewhere safe before nightfall. Gather what you need before you leave. So those of us, uh, those students that are familiar with playing in uh, survival mode, We'll be able to jump straight in here and do some stuff, but... Okay guys, one of the things I wanted to mention quickly was our Facebook page. You'll find the link in the description. We've got nearly a thousand members on there now, and many of them are Minecraft educators, experts on the subject. So if you've got any questions, just throw them in there and you will get a, an answer very quickly. Um, so make sure you go ahead and check it out. Because we might need this for making a pickaxe later on. Yeah, mine, mine, mine. I never get to play in survival. In the book, your students will know this because we will have read chapter one. In the book, uh, we are dealing with zombies and uh, alike, so we will need to get something to defend ourselves. Uh, and we're just gathering up as much stuff as we can before we get off this beach. Now, the first lesson is actually just this. It's, it's going around crafting stuff, gathering resources, getting ready uh, to move through into that next area. We are prepared to maybe take damage, so we are going to be um, getting food to replenish our health, crafting pickaxes and maybe bows and arrows and swords and so on. Okay everybody, welcome back to Question Corner. Uh, today's question is from Ken, who says, Nice, can you make a server so that we can play in? Now, unfortunately, Ken, Minecraft Education does not support servers. There are options for multiplayer. Uh, but you have to be on the off same Office 365 tenant for that to work, I'm afraid. Um, so, unfortunately, it's not possible at this time. I understand it's something they may be working on, though. Um, so I hope that answers your question. Uh, if I head further down the beach this way... Do, 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 do. There is a super spooky cave. And um, this is almost certainly going to be in the book. Let's, let's uh, shift-click all this string over here. There's a chest over here, and uh, we're going to want that chest. The big thing at the start of this lesson is to read the first chapter, so it may not take long for your students to kind of move around all over this beach and grab the stuff that they need. Here's a crafting table. There we go. Uh, what else do we want to make? Um, can we make an arrow yet? Yeah, we can make an arrow. Awesome. Um, can we make a bow? I don't want an arrow. Hang on. I want a bow. I've got arrows. So I've got a bow and arrow. So let's assume that your students have made their way over the beach, uh, deciding what things they want to craft and collect and gather. Like I said, there's no requirement. So you don't actually have to have a certain amount of things to do the next, to get to the end of this level. Now at this point, if we zip over to the lesson plan, uh, when finished, students walk to the next NPC who says ready to leave. Blah, 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 blah. Press the button, I'm ready, which will clear a path through the snowy mountain path. So that's the end of the lesson. So we're going to talk to the NPC there. Now, what do we expect them to have done? Students capture a screenshot of their inventory once they have finished gathering up supplies. Uh, students can submit this explanation through Teams assignment. Um, let's, let's go on to lesson number two. Are you ready to leave? I think we've got everything we need. So this now is lesson two. Okay, so I think we'll do the first couple of lessons today. You've come so far already, great work. We're going to uh, build a shelter for the night to escape from the creatures that will appear in the dark. So we're not going to deal with any of these creatures now. We are going to build a shelter just to stay away from them. So let's follow this path over. 
I've got my bow and arrow just in case I need to attack anybody. I don't think I will, hopefully. We're now supposed to read chapter five of the book because we chat to this person and we fall down here into this icy ravine, I could call it. So let's move down here. All of the um, non-player characters have the same skin. It's annoying me. Uh, you'll be safe here for a good rest. The shelter isn't set up very well. Um, use the supplies in the chest to make yourself comfortable. And you'll have to do some crafting to create what you need. There is a chest here with some stuff in, so we're just going to kind of shift click everything across and see what we can make. Now, technically, all you need to do in here is uh, build a uh, lever to go through the door. Can't see anything down here. So uh, let's get a couple of torches in this place. That's looking better. One up here and one up here. Fine. Right next, we're going to probably want a crafting table so that we can craft some more advanced stuff. And we can use the crafting table to make some stuff for our little uh, overnight shelter. So we're going to get a bed and a pickaxe. A stone pickaxe. Way better. I'm actually going to make a lever. Uh, now, your students at this point, you might want to encourage them to start looking at the loom and the furnace to see what else they can make. Uh, we are going to move on. We're going to place down our bed. Um, and uh, and we also made a lever, didn't we? So we'll put the lever next to the door. And we can now go through the door. Your students will enjoy this lesson. They'll enjoy going through the book, um, solving the problems, crafting the things that they need. Um, it is a literacy lesson, though. It's not an ICT lesson or computing lesson. It is a literacy lesson. Um, so maybe team up with English teacher in your school, literacy teacher. And make this a little project, a little kind of uh, six-week project, um, some cross-curricular stuff between ICT and English. It's all nice stuff. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Loads of stuff coming up. We've got lessons, tutorials, um, stuff to do with mods, shaders, all that kinds of stuff on the channel. Right, I'll be back later in the week with some more bits and bobs on um, titles and forward slash um, say and uh, commands like that. So um, if you'd like to see that, make sure you subscribe up and I'll see you all next time. Mm -hmm.